I've gathered together every version of BMW M2. This is the new one. This is the previous generation M2 CS. This is the previous generation M2 competition. And this is the first ever BMW M2. I've even got the car which sort of started it all, but isn't called an M2. It's the 1M Coupe. And I'm gonna drag race them over the standing quarter mile because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Before we race, let me tell you about these cars. But first of all, let's go over to the person in the 1M Coupe. It's racing driver Samuel. Hello, racing driver Samuel, how are you? Hello, Matthew, how are you? Yeah, uh, I'm good, I'm good. So I'm gonna get you to do the stats on your car first, but there is a very good reason why you're in that 1M Coupe, isn't there? Can you guess what it is? You probably know already. Is it this weird looking knobbly thing in the middle of the car? Yes, I've put you in the manual because you're a racing driver and you should be able to launch and shift quicker than me, even though I'm still pretty awesome. Yeah, but in my defense, it's been a long time since I've had to race with a manual gearbox. But yeah, you know, I take your point. Muscle memory from all those days when you were a junior, you know how to do it, you'll be fine. But do you know the stats on your car? Matt, I don't even know what car I'm in, but I have a secret weapon. I have a Luke, and he knows everything about this car. So Luke, where are you? So, <laughs> nice surprise. So that's Luke from Wan Barn. So Wan Barn have lent us that car. In fact, <laughs> they bought it just for this drag race. <laughs> They're crazy. Go check them out. Follow the link in the description to go to their YouTube channel. There's lots of cool cars there. This is the BMW 1M Coupe. This is a twin turbo, three litre, straight six, N54 engine. This has 340 horsepower, 500 newton meters. It weighs 1,495 kgs. This is 40,000 pounds new, but we picked it up for 60,000. And we kind of picked it up for this race, to be honest. Carwell reached out to us and were like, do you know anybody with a 1M? And we were like, it's a good excuse to buy one. So here we are with this. How are you doing? Okay, bye, thank you, bye, <laughs> bye, my time. Luke has been dismissed. Has Luke done his job? Yeah, that's all done. <laughs> that's all done. <laughs> Let me tell you about this car. So, like with the 1M Coupe, a three litre, straight six that's turbocharged. It's the N55 engine. But unlike that car, it has just one turbo, not two. The result is 370 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Driving the rear wheels, in this particular case, by a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. Now this car weighs in at 1,520 kilos. And when it was new, it cost 44,000 pounds. Finally, let's find out about the M2 competition. Hey Nick, how are you? I'm very good, Matt. I'm uh, very much enjoying being back in some uh, relatively old school BMW goodness today. And there's something really important about the M2 competition over the old M2. Can you explain? Yes, so the normal old M2 has the N55 engine, the M2 competition has the S55 engine, and as we all know, S is better than N, so that means it's got some proper M-tuned, M-built goodness inside. It also has twin turbochargers instead of just a big single turbo. That means more power, specifically 410 horsepower, 550 newton meters of torque. Like your car, Matt, it has a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox driving the rear wheels. This car weighs 1575 kilos and back in the day it cost 49,285 pounds. Thank you very much Nick, that was very insightful. Now if you want to compare the car stats, pause the video now. Now, before we race, if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do it through CarWow. So to sell your current car, all you have to do is upload some photos and then dealers all across the country will bid on it. Pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It's easy. Now you can do that right now by clicking on the pop-out banner up there or following the link in the description below, or just do it at a later date by simply Googling, help me CarWow and we will help you sell your car. Now let's race, but obviously before we do, Customary car wow sound check. So let's start off with the 1M Coupe. Sounds good, doesn't it? The question is, does it sound as good as this? <laughs> that isn't as nice sounding as this, is it? It's not even in the same area is it that sounds real good but they are both n engines let's have a listen to an s engine go on nick rev it up 
What do you reckon? You're closer to it, Sam. I quite like that, but I wasn't sure if there was a soft limiter. I think there is a soft limiter in it. Yeah, there is. About four and a bit thousand, just like all cars today, seemingly. That's annoying. That's one nil to the N55 then. Right, now let's drag race. Thankfully, the owners are letting us warm up the tyres. It's very important. Enough. I think Nick is better at that than me. <laughs> so that is all the tyres warmed. Time to race. I never know where to put it. Good thing I've just realised, Matt, that this M2 will now let me rev as far as I want. No soft limiter. I think it was warm, but it wasn't ready. Okay, okay, right. Um, so you have now won the, the exhaust test. Well done. Now, before we do this race, I should just point out the reason why we've only got three cars lined up here is because we're going to do this video in two heats of drag races. OK, so the winner of this race will stay on to then race the M2 CS and the new M2. Which one will it be? Time to find out. Three, two, one. Oh, how good was his launch? You'll get chased there, had him. Ah, I can't see so close. Come on. Not gonna lie, your launch was amazing, Sam. Showing your racing driver skills right there. However, I managed to come past you on your gear changes because, quite frankly, DCT gearbox can change like that. And no matter how good you are, there's always going to be a slight delay with the manual box, isn't there? Yeah, that's exactly it. It's just that time of me putting the clutch in, taking the clutch out and moving the gear shift. More importantly, where was the fastest car? Uh, Nick, let me guess. Your car spun up its wheels and lost traction. Yeah, but worse than that, uh, launch control wasn't working properly, so we're already entering the realm of frustrating BMW things. I tried it before the race, perfect. Not a hint of issues, but in the race when it mattered, launch control wasn't engaging. Right there, let me get this straight. Did you actually do a launch before the race? Yes, I did, yeah. So what we're going to do now is go for a drive for a wee while to let the clutches cool down and see that we can both get launch control. And um, Sam, you might practice your gear changes in the meantime. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Some time later. Okay, before we do this, Nick, can you just check that your launch control will engage without actually launching? It's working for now. Well, it will work. Let's see if mine works. Yeah, it's doing it. So we should be good for one launch. Hopefully no one's going to cock this up. Sam, do you want to check that you can lift up a clutch? I can confirm I am in first gear. OK, let's do this. Three, two, one. Whoa, that's on the gear change at him again. Oh my God. No, too much wheel spin. So that changed things a bit, Nick, didn't it? Hey, it helps when you have launch control. <laughs> Yeah, damn right it does. That was much better. I wonder why. <laughs> right, now, I'd normally run this race again and go best two out of three. Really, Sam? I, uh, I got too much wheel spin. Give me one more go. I don't think I can beat either of you, but it can be a little bit closer than that, I think. Do we need to? Yes. But me and Nick have got to go for a drive all the way to the end of the runway and back again to reset our launch controls. Uh, in which case, I can't be bothered. Let's just do the rolling and then I'll destroy you all in the brake test. 
Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, the cars in third gear. Which one will reach the half mile first? Right, here we go then, everyone level. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 Listen, listen, listen. Without a doubt, that S55 engine just delivers the performance, doesn't it? But my God, Sam, your gear changes were wicked then. I really didn't notice any like drop off in torque. And at one point, I thought you were going to come past me. I was coming past you. If we had a longer run there, that was it. You were done. I don't know how that can be, but yeah, that was good, wasn't it? I even said super fast gear change before I changed gear, so you can know if that's what I was doing. Why didn't you have super fast gear change mode enabled in the drag race? Because the gear changes then were better. I'll tell you why. So you can super fast gear change third to fourth because it's a very straight line. But first to second can be a bit dodgy for drive shafts and clutches. Third to fourth is like a, a sweet spot to be able to do that. Uh, Nick, um, easy, yeah? Yeah, one word, easy. Okay, finally then, we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. A car that stops in the shortest distance wins. If you'd rather watch a drag race with every generation of BMW M5, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below. If not, stay here for the brake test. And here it is, here it is now. It was close. This had a lot of ABS going on there. This had quite a bit. How about you, Nick? You're, you're quite a bit ahead of us. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been ahead of you uh, in most races so far, and now I'm ahead in the brake test, although I fear that's a very bad thing. Very much ABS happening. But it doesn't matter, Nick, because winner stays on, and that is based on the drag race. So you can take your car through to the next round. And Sam, you and I will get two new cars, and you can guess which one you're going to go in, right? The non-manual? That's not correct. Let's get our cars. Now we come to the second round of the drag races. So I've jumped into the new M2. It's got a three litre twin turbo straight six. It's a proper BMW M engine. It's the S58. So it puts out 460 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. And it drives the rear wheels only for an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter, but it still has launch control, which is good. What's less good though is the weight. This thing weighs in at 1,725 kilos. It's quite a lot. It's also quite expensive, 65,000 pounds. Now let's find out about the M2 CS, that beautiful green thing next to me, from racing driver Sam. So Sam, do you know the stats on your car? Yes, I know all of the stats. I think I've done my research. Okay, so give me them. Don't, don't keep us in suspense. So the stats for this car, BMW M2 CS, it's a twin turbo, three litre, straight six, S55 engine. It's got 450 horsepower, 550 newton meters of torque, and it weighs 1,550 kg. It costs new 75,000, but I think roughly now it's around 90,000 and this car has about 5,000 pounds worth of upgrades to it. So what are the upgrades? It has Bilstein dampers. It's had geometry done as well to it. As you can see, the color, it's a uh, peelable pane in Irish racing green. We've got an acropovic exhaust on the back, so you can really hear this thing. Sounds really good. Well, we'll come to that in a moment, but first, what gearbox is in that car? So, this one is a manual six-speed. All right, thank you very much, racing driver Sam. Uh, Nick, you don't need to give us the stats on your car. What we're going to do, once again, is throw up a screen that you can just pause the video and compare the stats of the cars side by side. Here it is. Now, let's do a sound check. So, Nick, can you remind us how good your M2 comp sounds? <laughs> Okay then, racing driver Sam, let's have a listen to your M2 CS. Don't mean to be rude, Sam, but I'm not sure the Akrapovich exhaust sounds quite as good as the one on the M2 competition. Let's have a listen to this one. Sounds all right from in here, but I think they're like playing exhaust sounds through the speakers. 
All right, who won that? Go on, Sam, you decide, you're in the middle. I'd like to say this one, but I think the M2 competition. I absolutely agree with you. Right, now let's race, but before we do, we're gonna warm up our tyres again. So I'll head out in this and go for a little bit of a skid round a bush. Sounds rude. Here we go, oh, in we go. Oh, very nicely done. Everyone's tyres are now officially warm. We can get on with the race. This is embarrassing. Oh, he's coming back. No, come on. Come on. So, racing driver Sam, first off, I heard some wheel spin from you. Yeah, so this is being adjusted and modified for a better track activity, but it's pretty stiff. So I'm just floating on the surface, but I beat Nick. Is that what made you stiff? <laughs> you, the geometry, and just the atmosphere of the day make me stiff, Matt. Anyway, Nick, how are you? Were you a little bit flaccid? You could say that, having just been beaten. But uh, hey, it was a good race, though. I mean, I was ahead of Sam, and then he'd claw it back, and then he'd change gear, and I'd get ahead, and we were just constantly swapping. It was so close at the line. How quick is that new car? I mean, it is so quick. It really is. It's just so far ahead. Are you happy with your launch, Nick? Do you think you can do better? Would you like another go? I think it was pretty good, but I think there's room for improvement. I, and I'm never going to say no to uh, another session with Sam, am I? Let's go again. I can do a better launch and beat Nick by even more with more stiffness. I've heard that you can do two at a time, Sam, so there needs to be no line. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Well, I think it's your car, but it, it actually genuinely smells like a barbecue. I can't smell it. It just smells of like new BMW in here. Do you want to check that something hasn't crawled under the bonnet and died? I'm actually quite hungry now though, you said barbecue. Maybe we should do that for sheets. We should have like a nice grill here, hire someone, like hog roast. You do spit roast, don't you, Sam? <laughs> I do, but it's a special price. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, that's a good start there by Sam. That was even better! <laughs> This is a fairer reflection of how the cars should be actually spread. <laughs> Come on! Yeah! <laughs> God. So Sam, you definitely lost that time, but is it because of your performance or is it because Nick's car launched better that time? Nick did get a better launch. I think because on the first run, he didn't have quite the tire temp. So I think that's probably what got me the win. This car is just pretty, pretty stiff. So it's not putting any power down, but I do want another go because I can see Nick's smug face from over there. Okay, seeing as you're still stiff. Nick, are you are you kind of like semi now? Uh, yeah, I certainly got off better that time, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it as well. Okay, do you reckon you got some more in you? Always good for another go, you know me. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fucking hear that 
M2CS just spinning of its wheels, changing from first to second. Come on, M2, come! <laughs> no! Is he gonna come back? Come on! So the race was between you two, and looking back, I have no idea who won. Tell me it was you, Sam. It wasn't me. I'm just too stiff to put any functional power down. I was racing Nick with opposite lock on for three quarters of the runway. So well done, Nick. You drove it in a straight line and put your foot down. And Sam, were you so stiff that you actually went for the wrong knob and fluffed a gear change? Tumbleweed. All right, now we're going for a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Third gear, cars in their sportiest setting, first of the half mile wins. Three, two, one, go. Come on. What? <laughs> there is no way I'm gonna keep up or catch up. Oh no! Well, do you know what that proves, Sam? That you're crap at launching a manual. Yep, correct. <laughs> Only kidding. My God. So that's got the same torque, 550 as this. It's got 10 horsepower less, 450, as opposed to 460. The weight of this, it's like 200 kilos more, is making a difference. But your gear shifts must have been mega. Magic hands. <laughs> I didn't think that was happening. This is really fast. I don't know what's going on. The pickup, when you said go and we're in third, this just picked up so well. Yeah, I mean, it totally just shot its bolt, didn't it? It absolutely shot its bolt off the line way quicker than I was expecting. And it's never happened before. Nick, how are you? I think there was only ever going to be one result in that race. This felt quick, but clearly didn't go quickly enough. Insightful, my friend, insightful. <laughs> Should we move on to the brake test? <laughs> All right, now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race with some BMWs, click on the pop-up banner up there for the link in the description below. Here comes the, uh, the braking zone. <laughs> wow. So, this clearly won. And um, M5CS did well, did really well. Your stiffness will have affected you there a bit, right, Sam? Yeah, this is just super stiff on the ground. But yeah, I managed to stop. I'm not surprised that stopped before it. It's more supple than this, but um, yeah, I think it did okay. And uh, Nick, you lost. I did lose, quite squirrely under braking. Also, Matt, you said M5CS for Sam, not M2CS. Don't know if you want to do a pickup. No, I don't. You know what I meant, don't you? No pickups required. So then what exactly happened? Well, the new M2 won. It did the standing quarter mile in 12.1 seconds. The M2 competition was second with a time of 12.5 seconds. The manual M2 CS and normal M2 both took 12.8 seconds to do the quarter mile, while the 1M took 13 seconds. Now, if you're thinking about buying a small performance car such as this M2, maybe you should consider an Audi RS3 or a Mercedes-AMG A45S. And I found a good deal on either an M2, the Mercedes, or the Audi through CarWow. If you want to find out what the car is and the saving, click on the pop-out banner up there. Follow the link in the description below. Also, huge thanks to the people that have lent us these cars to race. Please follow them on Instagram. Links are in the description. All right, go do that. It really does make a difference and helps us get other cars in future for you to enjoy. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of the cars that we've drag raced today is your favorite by commenting. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos and click on that box there to go to CarWow to sell your car the easy way and have dealers all across the country bidding on it to make sure you get a good price. Thanks for watching.